Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to each one of you to the Udan Roadshow, an initiative that's giving wings to India's MSMEs, part of Udan. What sort of technology you need at this point? So I am running on a legacy technology which is obsolete at this point. Windows 10. And Windows 10 has ended his support by Microsoft on October 4. See, he is also vulnerable in terms of the security risk. And let me tell you that MSMEs, specifically medium and small enterprises, the most vulnerable organizations are our MSMEs. If you're not having money and not having the right technology, which one is more important to you? AI buzz is going around. Hand raises in terms of who's using AI every day in their work or in their business. How I am using it, I can tell you. As a marketer, I run every campaign. I take help of AI to streamline and try to give the right prompts which will give me the right uh, results and automatically trains it and gives me in my future purpose in terms of my persona what I'm looking for. And why we are here in this room to talk about how the MSMEs can adopt technology in this AI era and how we can take it ahead to successfully give it that leading edge in terms of if you are here, how do we grow from here? I'm giving an example here. I think how many of you know Flipkart? Many years back. Do you know Flipkart is a big business? You might be ordering something, but Flipkart was a big business. Flipkart as a small company, as an MSME, has grown its presence over a period of time to where it is now. So think about how the business has grown over a period of time with the help of technology. And we have we can proudly say that we have worked with Flipkart successfully on their journey to grow their business where they are right now. Now, the role of technology in uh, SME success. So I think we, we all know that there's a digital transformation of the digital revolution which has happened. How many of you are carrying cash before the pre-pandemic situation? Because I know that I don't need cash in my hand. I just need a UPI. Whether it's Google Pay, Phone Pay or anything, I just need that. That's the way the revolution has happened. And how the revolution has happened? Because it's consumer adoption and the technology transformation also has happened over a period of time from pre-COVID era to where we are right now. Every data is getting generated. It's like, I think through the whole day, we are generating loads and loads of data. I think somebody was holding uh, the laptop. I'll give you an example. 75% of the organizations 75% of the organizations, when they are looking at the edge devices, which is a laptop or a notebook or a workstation or a desktop, 75% of the data is getting generated in the edge devices in your client devices. But down the line, I think the industry is telling us 85% moving ahead, 85% of the data will be generated in the, in the edge, which is your client devices. And the data will be analyzed in the edge as well. That's on the edge with the AI PCs, what is coming in place. And we will be covering that in the subsequent slides as well. And why we are covering AI PCs and mostly why we are talking about the PCs because that's the first starting point for you to liberate your transformational journey. What you work, you always open a laptop. Is it it? You always open a laptop. How many of uh, some, some of the organizations have desktops as well? But it always starts with a computer and that's where the data is getting generated. So now it comes, a Dell, I think you might be using some of the Dell Latitude, who, who, Dell Latitude, Dell Latitude. I think we know precision a lot of things. Now Dell has come up, I think last year, we started to simplify entire portfolio into three basic criteria or three basic segmentation. One is called Dell, Dell Pro and Dell Pro Max. We have segmented in such a way that every segment of the business has their own need. And of course, they're looking at what business case they want to solve. I'll just focus specifically on the Dell Pro 
laptops or Dell Pro notebooks in specific. So Dell Pro is designed for the professional grade productivity. And again, we have segmentation within it. Dell Pro Premium, Dell Pro Plus, Dell Pro and Dell Pro Essential. So when we talk about Dell Pro Premium, that's the premium grade productivity. And in terms of what is your usability case? And accordingly, it will assign for the right set of products what we have in the market. Well, we are starting as Dell Pro Essential. That's the reason we are calling it essential. But it does not come with a cost or below productivity loss. Or you might be thinking about, doesn't give me the same level of productivity which Dell Pro Max gives? Of course, yes. But not with the advanced capability what you want the system to offer. Because if you're thinking about you want to run a CAD and CAM on uh, Dell Pro Essential, of course, it can't support. And Dell Pro is the... The, the, the Dell Pro is, the Dell Pro Essential uh, is part of the Dell Pro family, but again, it's a pro, pro, professional grade uh, uh, laptop which can give you that efficiency at the same time productivity. And Dell Pro Plus is the middle one where you can get productivity plus your efficiency, but it has got a different need. You can scale it in terms of your uh, processor speed. You can enhance it with your uh, co-pilot or AI PC capability with it. So we have different dimensions, different sizes for every business or every use case what we have. So we have the Dell 30 and 40 premium and Dell 30, 40 and 60 and Dell Pro 14 and 16 and Dell Pro Essential 14 and 15. And it comes with multi-silicon diversity. So you're coming up with Intel, you're coming up with AMD, we do have also Qualcomm capability within our AIPC portfolio. So what is that use case you want to resolve? We are giving you that option of variety from our portfolio so that you can use what is needed for your business, what the business has grown for them. So the journey has to start from something and that step has to be taken by you. And this entire initiative of Pudan can help you or enable you to adopt that technology talking about we are pushing you to adopt any technology but it depends on what you want to take as the next step in terms of business and what where you want to go from here that's what it all talks about and we can help you guide through that journey and help you partner in that journey in terms of adopting the right technologies right tools which can help you enable the growth which you are in Welcome with a round of applause, Mr. Sakshar Tukal. MSME world and AI space. How many of you agree with that? It's 100% clarity as to how to use AI, what are the do's and don'ts, how to responsibly use AI. I don't think anyone has, including me, by the way. That's the true landscape of AI. Under the Digital India mission, please register on this link so that by the government, you can get a free AI tool for 30 days always neutral but it's the use cases that define its intensity and more importantly if you ask about AI trust me it's not about whether AI can be misused or not it's more about as sir said awareness but what is so special about this DPDP act it has become the mother legislation for around the globe that practically when we are focusing on our business but thanks to GDPR things changed people mindset changed the same thing is about to happen in India and the tricky part is, with this DPDP Act, there is another law which is about to come, which is on AI, Digital India Act. Right now, we do have time. And for those who think that this is not for me, first of all, data, professional data modes. What is happening with the data? Where is that data? First of all, is it in a random exit? Is it dumped in a cloud? Where is it? If anyone has, Gemini might hallucinate after 10th prompt, but every AI does. Companies are working in AI. AI is impacting your space. You would actually be able to see the reality without being in that bubble. So tomorrow, if you are using any AI, and it seems that it doesn't matter, Chat GPT, Perplexity, Claude, Gemini, every AI today, I repeat, every AI today hallucinates. The you can't surpass that. You can't escape that. As a founder today, you can't say that uh, it's not my responsibility. I've just deployed some AI out there. Chat GPT, I think everyone is used today. I'll ask you a question. 
if today i don't know anything about english anything about english can i create a convincing message thanks to gpt can i do that right if i write something in bhojpuri that too will be you know translated in effective english language from today if you really want to thrive in this age of ai then trust me being a responsible business owner <clears throat> is what that is required thank you so much guys thank you